to do here, I want to teach you a little bit of Wine 101, all right? This wine opener will pop the cork without doing anything, but it will leave a jagged edge on the top. I like to take a nice sharp knife and spin the bottle. out the top. Stick this up in the wine opener, give it a good clamp, grab the handle, grab the bottle, for a cork, and we walk it right over here. To the cork thing. Now one thing guys, your restaurateur, your waiter, your waitress is going to hand you the cork. You want to be a show off. If you stick this in your nose, they know you're a loser. They know you're an asshole. They know you don't know anything. What you want to do when you are handed the cork is squeeze it, analyze it, and make sure it doesn't fall apart, it's solid, no particulates, then hand it back. Or, do all that and stick aside your little cork hanger. My baby got me a uh, stand for my aerator that you guys saw earlier this week. Which is wonderful. Stick the aerator in the stand. It's beautiful. It's acrylic. It's literally a work of art. And I'm very proud of it. So stick the glass down below. Just open this bottle of Franciscan and you're supposed to let this sit open or any other good bottle for about an hour. I don't have an hour. I crack a bottle, I want to drink a snot out of it right away. The has a filter for particulates. has several ports on the side. And a lot like your own sink in your kitchen, it aerates the wine like your sink aerates the water. It'll release all the notes. You'll get the cherries, the vanillas, the chocolates, that nutty, oaky background if it's in there. Whatever the hell is hidden. The raisins, the afternote of pepper. You don't have to search for it. It'll jump out at you. Okay? And what you do is make sure your filter is sitting down straight like I almost did. Pour yourself a nice little glass. Can you hear that noise? I'll stop there. I usually fill it up. Another thing I want to point out to you guys. In a good restaurant, you'll get about that much in the glass. And what I want you to do after you squeeze the cork and don't smell the cork, is I want you to swirl it around. Hold it up. And look at the legs coming down. Snip it. And take a deep breath. Look at your waiter, waitress, restaurateur. Give them a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Thumbs down, you get a new bottle, guys. No argument. But try to act like you know what the hell you're doing. Now take a sip. Swish it around a little bit. Make a little pull with your tongue. Let it roll down. Try to get the front of your tongue taste. The after note tastes. It's a party. I'll take two more bottles. Peace.